Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Joe from Gadgetry Tech. And in today's video, I am talking about a fairly niche product. This is an RGB kit for two particular chairs from one company. So I understand that uh, this may not be for my entire viewer base, but it's kind of a cool product and I wanted to cover it because I have one of the chairs that it's compatible for. And if anyone's uh, shopping this kit and wanna know if it actually works, or how it works, hopefully you find this video helpful. Now these kits were sent to me for review, it won't affect what I say about it. I have not shared my opinions or thoughts of this product with the company that sent it to me. They're gonna see it uh, the same time or even after you. So um, I just wanna say that full disclosure, there's no kickbacks, it's not like I'm getting anything special out of it. I don't even have affiliate links set up, it's literally just an informative video. And uh, there's a lot to learn about this kit. So. There are two separate kits. You have one designed for the bottom of the chair, or the top uh, or the bottom kit, and then the top RGB kit will replace kind of where your performance racing uh, seat belt holes would be on a racing chair. So they retail for a higher price. Now these retail for $300 each. And at the time of this review, they are on sale for 250 each. So when you factor that into the base price of the chair, your chair is now passing the $1,000 mark. Now the good thing is, it's not like you're just paying $1,000 for a chair with RGB. You can still get an excellent chair for 500 or less, and I reviewed this in the past. I'm sitting on the Vertigear PL4800, and um, I wanted to start with this portion of the video because I know these price points, it's not for everybody, and that's totally fine. I'm not gonna show the product and say this is the best, most transformative thing. It's your money, you decide if it's worth it to you or not. Um, but I will say this, the PL4800U is just under 500 bucks. Obviously, when you add these two kits in, you're approaching Steelcase and Herman Miller pricing. Um, and that becomes more of an area of preference because those chairs are more like your uh, industrial build quality strength, good ergonomics, etc. However, the PL4800U for a gaming chair has had the best lumbar support I've ever had. And I will say that with confidence. So it's not like you're just getting a gaming chair and adding RGB. Those two don't have the best um, public opinion when you tell someone you have a gaming chair with RGB, you're not going to associate quality and uh, comfort necessarily. So the Vertigear is kind of unique because it is comfortable and it has great quality. Now the unboxing process is pretty straightforward and it's presented with a pretty high quality package as well. You saw those giant black boxes, but I didn't want the table crowded for the whole video. Um, it's a nice setup. It's well protected and it's laid out very easy to work with. It's not like it's a small box and everything's stuck in a plastic sleeve with some foam around it. It's all presented nicely. So at least when you're paying this kind of money, they're not just stuffing it all in a brown box. Now installing the RGB kit is very straightforward on both the top and bottom portions. The top portion takes just a little bit longer because you have to remove the existing trim for where the plastic shrouds were you're replacing it with a new one that has RGB integrated. You're not just adding RGB on top of it. You also have the option of customizing the plexiglass inlay and that price is reasonable. That's only $30. So you can kind of upload your own PNG file or, or graphic with a transparent background preferably. And that allows you to scale it and place it you know, where you want on the glass. So you can preview it and you can add more than one layer in case you wanted a couple little designs side by side. Naturally, with me running the channel, I wanted to put Gadgetry Tech on the chair and I think it came out pretty good. I did mess with it a little bit. It took a few iterations to get it to present the way I expected to on the glass. But if you don't customize it, it comes with a transparent uh, glass with no design. They give you a couple options online, but you can go from nothing to your own. Now the bottom portion is very easy to install because there's nothing to remove. All you have to do is lay the chair flat and align that center RGB kit, basically the brains of the operation. You have to align it on the pedestal to where the four screw holes line up because there's one leg of the pedestal that does not have a screw and that's where you put the battery pack. Once you've aligned it, just tighten down the four screws with the included Torx bit uh, driver and then you're good to go to move on to the actual RGB part. And those basically install by removing a little protective tape that protected the pins because those insert into the center base. Once you slide the RGB kit in, all you have to do is tighten down two screws per RGB strip and then the entire system is done. You have to repeat that process, of course, on all five legs and then you're good to go. From there, you have to install the four batteries. Now they have to go in in a very specific way and the directions present it fairly clearly. It kind of uses a drawing to show you what the plus and minus orientation goes, but uh, obviously for video sake, it's pretty straightforward. So once you've done that and you insert the battery pack, the unit will flash for a moment, letting it you know that you got power and then you're ready to set up the RGB pairing process. Out of the box, they weren't paired with the included USB Type-A transmitters. And I will say that the transmitters work individually 
per kit. So you can't just get one and have it assigned to both. So plan on taking a couple USB-A ports if you want to use both kits. Uh, but all you have to do is press and hold the power button. The RGB light will go from the static blue color to red. That tells you it's in pairing mode. Then you just press the button on the little transmitter itself. Let it go after about three seconds. And then within a few seconds from there, the chair will flash back to blue. And that's how you know it's synced. And then once it has been synced with the transmitter plugged into your computer, all you have to do is install NZXT CAM software. They originally had a different utility, but it didn't work as well, so they transitioned to CAM, which is probably for the best because that is getting updated more frequently with NZXT. You may not need all the other stuff the NZX NZXT software does, but at least from an RGB side, it's a pretty reliable program. All you have to do is click on the lighting button of the CAM software, and if these were paired successfully, you'll see the Vertigear RGB kit, and it's labeled top and bottom so you know which one you are adjusting. There are a ton of different modes on the CAM software, and most of them work pretty well on both the top and bottom kits. I found one of the issues when you synchronized it to music, which is not a microphone built into the RGB kit, but more or less the software's interpretation of audio leaving your computer, which is nice because you don't have to have it uh, turned up extremely loud. Your speakers or headphones can be quiet, and this will still perform in a similar way. So once that's enabled, the only thing I notice is the top kit doesn't quite show uh, a change of color. It basically, whatever the primary color is on your audio level uh, output, you know, for different decibel levels or the beat, it pretty much just flashes that one or stays lit the entire time. The bottom part, the pedestal kit is much more dynamic and it reacts much better to the music. However, you can do one where it's just to the beat and that works much better on the top kit because that'll flicker just kind of with the bass. Now there's a lot of other modes aside from the audio responsive ones and you can customize individual LEDs and zones. So that allows you to make really unique looking uh, patterns on the pedestal portion, whether it's flashing or solid or pulsing, there's a lot of choices there. And I like some of the effects more than others, but that's really just a personal preference thing. I will say that when you are adjusting the individual LEDs, on the top kit, it's presented, I think it's eight LED options to configure. However, it's only the first five that are actually applicable to the top kit. Slots one and two are the back two lights. Slot three is your logo if you have one, or at least the center light. And then slots four and five are the front LEDs. So you can customize it. And uh, once you know how it applies, you can make some nice patterns or you could pick something solid. The other thing I wasn't a huge fan of with the cam software is even on the slowest mode, because of the way these LEDs are spaced out, the patterns kind of cycle through kind of quickly. There's no real way to get some of them to be very slow. So you might have to pick a pattern where fading kind of masks that a little bit, or you can make an extended sequence to kind of double up your light pattern, and that can effectively slow it down as well. The good news is the software and the connection actually worked uh, better than I expected. I only had one hiccup where the bass was playing music and then it just stopped responding altogether. I restarted and just repaired the unit. I basically powered off the pedestal and repaired it with my Bluetooth adapter that was plugged into the computer and then everything was working fine. Aside from that, I never had any other issues with the kit and even when I power cycled it, so if your computer is running and cams is running, if you shut off the pedestal or the top kit, and then turn it back on, it pretty much instantly repaired with my computer and it took to my custom light pattern automatically. Now there's no onboard memory with this RGB kit, so if you turn this whole system off and then back on and your computer is not running, it'll just default to the blue and I'd never found a way to get it to go into any other color without the PC running. So that's one of the only drawbacks with this kit. So that about wraps up the video. Now what's interesting about this is you can get RGB gaming chairs for like 200 bucks, 250 bucks for the whole chair with RGB and they come with a remote control. Those chairs are not built to the same quality and comfort as this. So on paper, those might seem like a much better value, but I can tell you if you sat in that chair and then sat in something like this, the differences become apparent rather quickly. So again, it really just comes down to what you wanna spend your money on and if it's worth it to you or not. I'm not gonna play that game and say, this is an amazing value because this is kind of pricey for RGB, but it is a, in a unique position of providing a quality chair with an ability to customize it. So I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to see you at the next video and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, bye.